Hi everyone, welcome to All Inspired. My name is Amanda and on this channel I like to do all things cooking, cleaning, decorating, DIYs, all that good stuff. You know, all the homemaking things. But in today's video, I'm going to do a quick little Sunday reset. I'm actually just taking care of everything around the house that needs to get done on a weekly basis, just the most important things. The, it's mainly just the main level here, just getting everything cleaned up and just ready to go for the week ahead of us. So we just had Valentine's Day. I hope you guys all had a wonderful Valentine's Day. How many of you guys got chocolate for Valentine's Day? How many of you guys had Hershey Kisses? So did you know, fun fact, Hershey Kisses were originally called Sweethearts. They called them Sweethearts. And then they changed the name to Hershey Kisses. So I listened to this cool little podcast about Hershey and his name is Milton which I think is kind of funny when you say it together, Milton Hershey, it kind of sounds like you're, it's, it's Milton, sorry, not Milton, it's Milton, but it kind of sounds like you're saying Milton Hershey, I don't know, it's just kind of funny. But anyways, so he grew up really, really poor, like dirt poor, his family barely had any money to feed him, his dad was an entrepreneur and uh, did a lot of like get rich schemes, and was always trying to make a quick buck and so it never really worked out. And when he was like 14 he actually got an apprenticeship at a candy shop and that's where he learned his love for candy making and he decided to open his own business and he actually opened two candy shops that both failed and he went through bankruptcy and then he ended up discovering caramels and so he went ahead and opened up the Lancaster Caramel Company and when he did that um, the caramels took off and they did really really well and he actually was able to hire a team and actually build a business and he was doing fantastic and then he was always you know innovating and looking for new things and he went to a convention or something similar to that in those days and he saw um chocolate making equipment and so he decided to go all in on the chocolate making he sold his caramel company for a million dollars which with a modern day inflation would be much more today but he sold his company his family thought he had gone bananas but he claimed that caramel was a fad and that chocolate would be forever and at this time most people in the United States have never even tried chocolate chocolate was for the rich the average day person hadn't even tasted it yet and so he bought the equipment and started making the chocolate and was able to uh, realize that selling it in bulk would be cheaper so he did that and that's when we first started getting chocolate in the US as just an average day person that's when we started Started actually having chocolate so I thought that was pretty darn neat but he also did some pretty shady things like he sent some of his loyal employees over to other companies to learn their trade secret secrets so that they would bring it back to his company so he could use them so there was some shady dealings there but the most coolest part of the story is that you know he grew up like I said, dirt poor. He was like very skinny. He was malnutritioned. He wasn't eating well and, and things like that. And so he actually built a whole entire town, like the Hershey town. He built that. And it's because he thought that if he had a great town, like he built, they paved the roads, he built the Times Square. He actually in, added um, homes. He did entertainment. They had a movie theater, all that. And that was all for his employees in Hershey, Pennsylvania. He wanted his employees he thought that if he built this place for them to live where they were happy that they would be better employees and so he did that which was so incredibly neat but then he took it even a step further and he decided to fund a school and it's it's Hershey's Institute I think I forget the exact name but it's it's named after him and it is a private school it still exists today 
and he did it with no advertising so you know a, a lot of people do charitable work but they will advertise that they do charitable work and he did not he did not advertise that he created this school for low-income families to go to be able to get an education he just simply did it and so I thought that was so incredibly neat I didn't even know there was a school named Hershey but there is and it's apparently a really good school and it costs a lot of money to go there I guess uh, I don't know if they have scholarships or I I don't know exactly how um, that establishment is uh, ran but I do know that when Hershey passed away all of his money went to that school so I'm sure they have been able to do some phenomenal things I, I would have to do a little bit more research to find out but I guarantee you they have some type of scholarship program or something like that where they've been able to do phenomenal work at that school because when he did pass away I mean he was wealthy so there was an substantial amount of money that was donated to that school so i just thought that was such a neat story i wanted to share that with you guys i wonder what you guys think would you like the stories do you think the like just some fun interesting facts um do you like it do you enjoy it what do you think about it let me know in the comments below So I wanted to come in here to our front room. That's what we call this area. It's just the, the first room in our house. We call it our front room. But I wanted to come in here and go ahead and take care of this table. I put this up a few weekends ago for a baby shower. I actually did do a baby shower decorate with me, which I will leave linked below if you guys wanna check it out. But I just wanted to get this all tightened up and just cleaned. I have this table that just needs to be put back together and just all this other stuff that needs to be put away and just kind of reorganized. This room is really empty right now. My, my husband and I are struggling with this room and so We've been looking at different furniture and stuff and we will eventually do like a room makeover in here but we're just trying to figure out what we want to put in here what's going to fit in here we need some type of a floor lamp or at least table lamps because there's no overhead light in this room so we just it needs to get put together i'm just not sure what to do i've kind of been looking at inspiration and i don't want to just throw it together you know my husband's kind of like let's just get some stuff and I'm like, yeah, but this is like the first room when we walk into our house that we see and I don't really want just stuff thrown in here. I want it to look, you know, more put together and it is kind of like a more formal room. So like the chair that I have here, I kind of want to go with that kind of a look. So we will be working on that. If you guys want to see some material coming up of me decorating or at least attempt to decorate that front room, you should hit that subscribe button and stick around so that you can see some further videos of how it turns out. But I am gonna take care of these stairs next. These are like my arch enemy and this is ridiculous how I'm vacuuming. Um, it's just, it's what's working. I'm also looking to get a handheld vacuum. It would be really nice so that I could just store this one upstairs. We don't have any carpet on the main level and the only thing that we use the vacuum for is the stairs and the little rug and so if I had a like one of the stick vacuums that would adjust so that I could use it on the stairs that would be ideal do you guys have any recommendations on a fantastic stick vacuum I had one before I love the convenience of it but unfortunately the one that I had just wasn't 
great quality and it did it did an okay job but it didn't the charge didn't last for very long and it it sucked okay but the light which i loved i loved the fact that it had a light in the front of it but that broke quickly after we got it and so i'm just i'm really in the market for not a huge expensive vacuum i want it to be more lighter weight and i want it to be a little bit cheaper i don't want to spend you know four or five hundred dollars on a stick vacuum I, I, I you know i don't need to have it this works it's not ideal it's kind of a little rough on the back but it does work you know the, the stairs get perfectly clean so i don't need a stick vacuum but i'm just looking for one that's a little bit on the cheaper side that is a better quality and then after I get done with this vacuuming, I'm gonna get this little mess cleaned up right here. I have just some random things that need to be put away and then some items that I need to take back to the store that I'm gonna leave sit right here so that I do not forget because if it's out of sight, it is out of mind and I will 100% forget about it. But earlier when I was describing to you about Hershey, you guys saw me clean out the sink and then you saw me spray it with the power wash. So essentially what I'm doing is sanitizing it. I like to do this weekly. Our sinks can get really, really dirty and just filled with bacteria. And so I just went ahead and used my power wash and I make the power wash myself. It's just Dawn dish soap, water, and alcohol. And so the alcohol is what gives it that sanitation gets it all nice and sanitized um, but you do have to clean everything out that's why you saw me completely clean thoroughly clean down the sink and rinse everything out and then I sprayed my power wash I just completely saturated the sink and the handle oh my goodness there's Willow she's so funny <laughs> I didn't even notice that she was underneath my the towel when I was folding this me and my husband were watching some documentary on TV and I was interested in it and there she is right underneath the towel she is so funny <laughs> she's the cutest little cat I swear you guys it's so funny she's like almost grown she might get a little bit bigger but not too much the vet said she has her adult teeth already so she probably has like maybe five more months of growing and this is probably as big as she's gonna get she's just an outlier is what the vet said. She's just very, very small, dainty little cat. So, but uh, there she is, nice and healthy. She said her surgery went well. Um, there's everything's perfectly fine with her. We recently got her spaded. If you're new here, and so she, she's healthy. She's in great shape. Um, she's, it's normal for her to be small. I asked. I mean, you know, is she supposed to like? Is she underweight or anything? And she said absolutely not. She weighs four pounds nine ounces. She is just tiny, 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 tiny. So anyways, back to the sink. Um, yeah, you just wanna completely saturate the whole entire sink. And then you saw I went and I did other things and I let it sit there and it sat for about 15 minutes before I went back in with the hottest water I could possibly have. And then I just rinsed it all down. And so that'll kill all of the bacteria and germs that are in your sink and just get it nice and sanitized and fresh for the week ahead. You can also stick a little orange peel down in there throughout the week. I, we, we didn't eat an orange on this day, but if we had eaten oranges, I just take the peel whenever we do eat them and I shove them in the garbage disposal and I just hot water and grind that up so it keeps the garbage disposal all nice and fresh as well but I figured I'd go ahead and end this video on laundry because it's never ending and oh wait what am I talking about I'm not ending this on laundry I done lost my mind I am doing laundry we got that taken care of and now I am taking care of the basement because I forgot that the kids came down here and had a blast. They were playing their switch and just having a good old time down here. And so I need to get down here and just get this a little bit picked up. It's really not that bad. There's just a little bit of things here and there. And so I just want to get all the blankets fold up and just get it like nice and tidy for the week to come. The girls will be coming back from their mom soon. And so I just wanted to get this area all nice and cleaned up for them because I know they'll be back down here and it'll probably get messy again but that's okay for you know this this day it was cleaned if you guys made it to the end of this video i'm having a real hard time with words if you guys made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate all of you watching my videos the likes the comments every single one of you i appreciate you thank you so much